My name is Andy Fulton. Uh, I run a company called Kirby Engineering Solutions. Um, um, we manufacture repair kits for uh, air suspension compressors for vehicles with air suspension. I own a, an Audi Allroad which actually has air suspension on four corners. i um, always been fixing things when it breaks down um, and then all of a sudden I had some suspension problems with the car. Um, I looked into it further and realised that the compressor pump was weak and it just wasn't sufficient to, to lift the car anymore, giving me an error light now and again, sort of random. Now the compressor is available to buy but you can't buy single parts, you can only buy the whole unit itself. Nobody seems to make just single parts for you to repair so I, I, I measured the old ring, realised it was worn so we made some prototypes a few sizes bigger, um, different profiles as well, different materials and then once I had See the prototype, about four or five prototypes, I found the, the, the best sort of solution and I fitted that back to the car. That was really the test to see durability, how, how well it performed, but the compressor worked like new again. It was you know, a good success, I was, as usual, pretty proud of myself and chuffed that I've fixed this myself, as, as you do when you get a solution like that. So once the, the prototype had been in my car, I had it working for a few months, everything was fine, I was pretty happy. Um, um, I've been a regular on, on the forums, on Audi forums, helping people and getting help from, from my own car. Uh, forums are a great way when you've got a problem, straight on to them to see, because always, I'm always um, saying that somebody's always had the problem before you, so if you go and look online, you can always find a solution. So at the time, uh, I'd been working in my car for, for a few months now, I wrote a bit of a, a, a sort of spread up and I posted it on the forum to say, you know, I think I found a solution. And I went into a bit of depth how I manufactured it and the reason why, that the materials and, and, and showed people photographs and said, you know, does anybody want to try one? Would anybody be interested? You know, does anybody have some problems? And, you know, straight away I get quite a few replies. I actually got four or five replies from that post. Um, and from there I agreed, well I'll make you one up and you can trial it and you know, and, and, and see if it is the same success that I did. So once I had made up a few repair kits for the guys in the forum, I decided that well let's make it a, a, a repair kit. So I came up with a manufactured piston ring, which is manufactured by myself. Um, we have got two O-rings which seal the cylinder on top of the, the compressor motor. One round and one shaped for different years of compressor. You also get two bolts two new bolts to hold the cylinder back on with thread lock pre-applied and yeah, now include an M6 tap to clean out the threaded holes and you get some cable ties to, to tidy any cable ties you've had to cut to remove the compressor to tidy cables and, and hoses etc and then an instruction booklet, simply an instruction booklet that I, I wrote with 10 or 15 steps with some photographs to help people show them uh, the steps to fitting it because it's difficult to know somebody's skill you know at the end of the, the who's reading the, the, the guide or who's trying to fit the part. I found that I was getting a few support calls saying you know it's been fitted wrongly or they've got a problem or they're not sure even where the compressor is um, so from there I thought I had to come up with another solution. It was quite a simple solution but it took me a wee while to realise that a video would be a good way to go. You've got um, plenty of online applications these days, YouTube and other ways to, to use that. So uh, from there I got in touch with Tosh Lubeck and we, we, he came down. We made up a video uh, to, to go through the steps showing people how to actually fit in the kit and showing someone how to do it rather than telling them how to do it. It's just total night and day. The, the actual, when you look at the video compared to the instruction guide, it's, it's a much better, much more informative method of showing your customers how to fit parts or, or, or problems to overcome. After we came up with a video with Tosh, we, we put it on YouTube. I also made a link to my uh, eBay advert where I sell the kits, saying your instruction video available. Um, and that definitely changed the sale pattern because people don't go to look for a repair kit. You go to the internet saying I've got a problem with my Audi all-road compressor. And that then takes you to either the video on YouTube, which you can then watch and understand, oh, there's a part available, which then takes you to the sale of the kit. So I found that people don't go to, to look for a repair kit, they go to the internet to look for a, a problem that they may have or a similar problem. And there's videos on everything these days showing you how to fix lots of parts. So the video was definitely a, a good, one of my better ideas at the time. Uh, definitely come up with a good solution there. 
So after the video was um, posted on YouTube and eBay, I got uh, a definite increase in sales, just because it's almost another sales avenue, you know, not only am I selling on eBay, I'm using YouTube to advertise my product. Uh, so the, the, the numbers, were, I was going from about 100 a month to then I would say 150, 200 a month. It really did, I would, I would say double, actually double the increase in sales. But not only that, it reduced the number of technical support issues that I was having. And it's just phone calls, simple things. Where is the compressor? What does it look like? What, what, what bolts to remove? Whereas the video, you watch the video and it's clearly there in front of you. It shows you the steps. It shows you the steps to remove the parts. Uh, even even a language barrier, if, if it's you're selling to different countries, you're just watching somebody, uh, you know, the hand moves and what tools are required to fit the repair kits. Massive increase to the actual potential of the kit and sales. After the video was definitely online, the, the sales grew and the America market started to pick up on this using the American forums as well, uh, you know, for advertising and, and you know, spreading the word about the repair kit. So it started, you know, selling a, a good 50% over uh, across the pond. And so now I have a US distributor who actually I ship the kits to. Um, and when we sell them, he actually ships them so that the customers are getting a faster uh, response time. Uh, you know, sending from the UK to the likes of the US, uh, time scale wise, it takes a long time to ship a small parcel. Uh, but customers, when they buy something, they want it quickly. You know, you buy something online, you want it so the next day. So in the UK, all my customers get them next day. And in the USA now also, customers are getting them in one to two days, which is, is, a, is a great success. Um, but once the, see, the word spread, the video was, uh, came online that it started, that garages and dealers were starting to realise that this is a, an actual real product. You know, it's not just a, something that it works for 10 minutes. It's a proper solution to repairing these compressors so I've sold um, multiple batches to different uh, dealers from Jaguar Land Rover and also worldwide uh, got a lot of business in the US who they buy in bulk uh, from me to either repair their own compressors or they either offer it as a, a, another solution to customers who, who can't afford a new compressor they, they can offer to refurbish their compressors from them. Um, uh, for the repair kit itself I've just got my advert translated into different languages for different eBay sites. Uh, it's now hosted on 10 different eBay sites worldwide. Um, so that gives a, a potential market where people in their own country, say Canada or Australia, they don't tend to search on ebay.co.uk, they'll use their own eBay site. So I'm now advertising on there. Globally, I've got sites in Canada, uh, Australia, all over Europe. Um, let's do a look to Africa, uh, North and South America. The video has definitely helped to increase those sales. So not only was it a, a successful business, it's now came to the stage where I work full time and this was a part time hobby. It's now the, the stage where I can run this as a full business, uh, being employed full time and actually look at new ideas and other repair kits and uh, you know any kind of other problem solving ideas that we can come up with. It's, it's actually a full, um, you know, full time job now.